from my channel, for the new cameras, nice to meet you. This resort mainly share relaxing music and stunning music, which aim at helping you relax, get better sleep, and get better concentration. We also sometimes share some valuable tips and resources for your mental health, steady, and relaxation. So, if you're interested, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you won't miss any single video. In this video, I'll be giving you a simple guide on how to reset and plan your life for a new year in order to get your life back together so you can make a fresh start in the new year. Before we dive in, I want to let you know that we'll have 9 different chapters to look into. So, if you wish, you can do them like a challenge in 9 days and dedicate a day for each chapter to organize your life for a new year. If so, if you're ready, let's get started. and reorganizing. Before we do anything fast, we're gonna make sure our space is clean and organized because when our environment gets messy, it becomes a lot easier to get distracted, which makes it harder to focus on other things. Besides, it's scientifically proven that while we clean and organize our spaces, we send signals to the brain that everything is okay in our lives. So, take your time and do a deep cleaning around the house, get rid of unnecessary stuff, reorganize, and if you feel like it, uh, you can decorate all over again. I'm sure this will give you a good sense of accomplishment and gonna motivate you to do more. Digital cleaning I would highly suggest you become a more minimalist person in the new year when it comes to digital devices because a screen that is full of files or apps can be more frustrating than a messy room. Plus, go over all of your social media accounts and update your following list. If some of these pages are, uh, aren't good for you anymore, it's good time to let go of them. It can be a friend, an influencer, a brand, a fan page, etc. Please don't hesitate while doing this, you will be better without them. Questions to start with Do a little bit of looking back on this year and ask yourself these questions. The first one is what were your goals for this year? So if you wrote them down at the beginning of the year, go back and check them out to see what worked for you, what didn't. But remember that life is very uncertain and that if you didn't get all of your goals, don't kick yourself in the back. Just look back and see what goals did you do, what goals did you not get to do, and decide whether they stay applied this year if they stay important to you. What ended up being your challenges this year? It really takes some very open, honest self-awareness to be able to say, this really challenged me. And then from those challenges, what did you learn? And then ultimately taking a deep objective. Checking in with your physical health. The next two chapters of this huge New Year reset are going to be dedicated to our health. And the first one is our physical health. If you need more categorization, you can split it into two parts, moving your body and having a balanced, healthy diet. For this chapter, you can update or create a workout program, meet plan, or do research for new recipes. Checking in with your mental health. We also need to reset our mental state and kick off the new year with a fresh mind. So maybe you need a change of scenery or journal to declutter your headspace. If you couldn't find anything to do here, think about which feeling you want to let go of in the new year and which feeling you want to have more in your life. Establish a new routine. Establish a supportive and strong routine for yourself. Most of us tend to feel more in ourselves when we know what our priorities are and we are constantly just making small little incremental doses toward it. Mostly, it takes about 3 weeks to ingrate a new habit. Thus, make this end of the year routine now and so by the time you move into January, it's already deeply ingrained. To plan a routine, you need to plan the what, when, how, and why. So, what are you going to do? When are you going to do it? 
how are you going to do it and why are you doing this like what uh, what does it benefit you or how does it benefit you then take a look at the routine you already have going and ask yourself what's working and what isn't working because you don't always need to have a clear and very fresh uh, routine every time there's a new year take what's working with you into the new year and then just make atomic changes to the things that aren't working as well set up a system for success first you need to define what success means specifically to you maybe success to you means joy or happiness maybe it means an accomplishment or a goal it could literally mean anything so really sit and think about it and come up with some words by creating your own personal definition of success you can stop changing the definition of success told to you then figure out exactly what which system is going to work for you? The best way to figure out is to think about what has worked for you best in the past. Write down new year goals. Finally, after finishing all the above chapters, you will be almost ready to start a new year with a fresh mind. The only thing left to do is to write down new year goals according to categories. What I mean by category is that you can create separate goals for education, work, health, family, friends, and new things you want to try in the new year. It will make a lot easier for you to achieve them. I've already created 9 year resolution idea with inspiration songs on my channel, so make sure to check it with the link provided above or in the description. Okay, with that, i leave you here. Let me know if you guys have any other points, tips, or ideas about making a plan for new year. And if you have anything to add to the conversation, as always, leave it in the comments below. Lastly, before closing the video, let's recall for one minute about what you have learned from this video and consider how you can apply all those tips in resetting your life and planning for a new year. Then, good job, did so you have made good use of your time. Again, don't forget.